three forces 200 newton 300 newton 400 newton act along the three sides of an equilateral triangle taken in the order find the magnitude and line of action of the resultant force so here you are given three forces these three forces acts along the three sides of an equilateral triangle so what is the peculiarity of a uh, equilateral triangle yes three sides are same and the angle made by them is 60 degree each okay so uh, you have to find the magnitude of the uh, resultant and also the line of action of the resultant force so we will see how we can um, draw the figure so the three forces so this is the first force and the second force and the third force okay so this is the first force which is 200 newton then the second force which is 300 newton and the last force third force which is 400 newton and we can give the names a b and c okay so here you can see sigma fx sigma fx equal to uh, not zero you have to find the resultant right so sigma fx equal to you have to find the value for sigma fx that is fx equal to you know the angles 60 degree this is also 60 degree so fx equal to 200 minus 300 cos 60 minus 400 cos 60 and which is equal to minus 150 newton now sigma fx sorry fy equal to 300 sin 60 minus 400 sin 60 which is equal to minus 86.6025 newton so you get the value for sigma fx and sigma fy and both are negative so you will draw the figure like this this is sigma fx and this is sigma fy and the resultant will be like this so this is the resultant this is sigma fx which is negative sigma fy which is negative and alpha is the angle between the uh, fx and the resultant so r equal to root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square and substitute these values and we will get the value for r as 173.2051 newton and also tan alpha equal to absolute value of sigma fy by sigma fx which is 86.6025 by minus 150 and from there we will get the value for alpha as 229.999 and it is approximately equal to approximately equal to 30 degree okay now we have to find the position of the uh resultant r so in order to find the position you will use the relation that is sigma m equal to r into x right so we will take some point to take the reference uh, let us take the point a 
so we'll find the resultant uh, or the distance of the resultant from uh, point a so in order to find that we'll choose sigma sorry sigma m about the point a equal to so here you have to find the moment of the forces about a so these two forces that is 400 and 200 al already passes through a so the moment of them will be zero so we are left with only uh, one force that is uh, bc the force bc and for bc uh, you are not given the perpendicular distance so what we do is we will uh, split the force bc at this point into two and component atom can in a split yoga and complete component that is split in y component will pass through this particular direction and x component will pass through this direction either 300 300 newton more than an inal active 300 newton at an angle than 60 degree and then the components on the angle then the ring this is 300 sin 60 and this is 300 cos 60 okay now we 300 cos 60 nor another on a video 300 cos 60 will pass through the point a so it has no moment pin all on the 300 sin 60 on 300 sin 60 act in the year direction on we will see that this 300 Newton is a single force. That is why we split it. We will 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 split it. It passes through the point A. And the other one will be passing through this line of action. We will line of action. Which is at a distance AB. AB is a distance. It is acting. So the moment will be equal to. E force, E force is 300 sin 60 into AB. That will be counterclockwise direction. So, the moment will be 300, 300 sin 60 into distance AB. Okay. That is equal to uh, minus 259.8076 AB. Drink it. Okay. The minus nor nine are done. It is counter clockwise. That is the name of the positive at an area. That is 259.8076 AB in the Counter clockwise direction. Clockwise angle is the Counter clockwise is negative. The negative is the counter clockwise. Okay. Now, sigma m a equal to r into x. r into x. Now, Sigma M is equal to 259.8076 AB. Sigma M is equal to 259.8076 AB. That is equal to R into R is equal to 173.2051 into X. Which implies X is equal to 1.5 AB. Which is the required answer.